we are all on adventures. Life is an adventure. Your adventure might be becoming a new parent, moving, going to school, maybe you want to start a new job, or in some other area of your life you're learning something new. Maybe you're creating a new way of living for yourself based on some health concerns that you have. We are all changing and growing and on our own special adventure. Sometimes when we're on an adventure, we're in that adventure mindset where we're excited and enthusiastic, we have so much energy, and every new thing is this wonderful exploration of life. And then there are times when we're not in that adventure mindset. <laughs> we want stability. We want something that we understand and that we feel safe knowing. I think that what makes life easier and what makes adventures easier is finding that balance between the adventurous side of yourself and the side that wants a little more balance and stability. That's been my focus this week. My husband and I have been in Guanajuato, Mexico for two weeks now. We just found our new place and the first week we were here I was in total adventure mode. Everything is new. I mean everything is different from my life in the United States. <laughs> I don't understand 80% of what's going on around me. And, but, but I was excited about that the first week. And every conversation I had with people was the little bit of Spanish that I know was this wonderful, exciting adventure. Week two, it's, <laughs> I found that other part of myself that wants the stability kind of kicking in. <laughs> and I've taken a couple days this week to do stuff that I know it, I can do well. Like, I've spent a lot more time working than I did the first week. I spent more time inside by myself reading a book in English. <laughs> you know? And I also noticed that my brain has gotten to this, I guess, overload point. Because we'll be having a conversation with somebody and they'll speak in Spanish and my brain won't even try to comprehend what they're saying. I, just, <laughs> I have found myself <laughs> either responding to them with this blank stare. <laughs> they'll be blah, 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 blah. And I'll say, and I'll just stare. And I know I'm staring, but I can't do anything else but stare. And then the other response I'll have, I've noticed, is I'll just start speaking in English. Like, whatever, I don't know what you're saying. I just have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> and, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm speaking in English. They don't know what I'm saying, and I just don't care. <laughs> So, so I've, I've noticed this need for finding that balance again and, and I can see that I'm kind of swinging away from the, oh my gosh, everything's exciting, everything's an adventure, to, okay, I need some time to just mellow out <laughs> and not have new stuff coming into my brain. Once I took that time just by myself, to talk in English <laughs> or to do my work, to do things that felt very comfortable for me. I started feeling that sense of adventure again. This morning I woke up, it was our first night in our new home, our first home in Mexico, and I looked out the window and I just stopped and I thought, wow, this is my view. I have the mountains, I have this gorgeous city with all of these colorful houses. I'm here, this is where I am right now, it's amazing. Sometimes when you're learning new stuff every day, like being a parent, you know, <laughs> you're, you're just so focused on learning the new stuff and growing and figuring things out that you forget how far you've come and how much you've already accomplished. So whatever adventure you're on this week, it's okay to find that balance. It's okay if you don't feel that excitement about learning something new or trying to figure things out. <laughs> That's okay. Just take some time to nurture that other side of yourself. Do something that makes you feel 
that sense of stability and comfort. And then you'll start to feel the excitement of learning something new again. And also look at how much you've already done, how much you've already learned and accomplished and explored. That's what makes life so exciting. All the new adventures that we have. I hope you join me on my adventure to Guanajuato. You can join me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash join Melanie Jade. There are new adventures every day. <laughs> and I'd love to hear about your adventures as well. So go ahead and share what's going on in your life. And if you need some help along the way on your adventure to just stay motivated and encouraged, you can always get a reading with me. I'd be happy to give you messages from your spirit guides to give you some perspective about what is going on in the bigger picture in your life and how things are working out, even at those times when they seem like they aren't. Join me on MelanieTheMedium.com. You can also sign up for my newsletter there. And I hope you have a wonderful week finding that balance between adventure and stability. Talk to you soon.